Welcome back. Well, paediatricians have warned that obese children should be among those prioritised for a COVID vaccine because they're at risk of ending up in intensive care. Children aged between 12 and 17 with underlying health problems who are considered to be at risk of serious illness with COVID have been prioritised to be vaccinated, but it doesn't include children with obesity. Of course, obesity has been flagged as linked with higher rates of COVID death in research. We're now joined by Tam Fry, the chair of the National Obesity Forum. So, Tam, what do you think about this? I mean, should we be prioritising obese children um, to be vaccinated? Well, I'm, I'm quite qualified about the, the, what this lady has said. I, I recognize that she's a pediatric intensivist. Uh, she works in a, a very well-known hospital. She's been to the uh, all-party parliamentary group on uh, COVID, and she is firmly convinced that uh, this is what should be done. Uh, my problem at the moment is that I see no other uh, body, such as the Royal College of Pediatrics and Child Health, uh, adding a comment to this. And I would be very wary indeed that uh, everybody assumed that uh, the COVID vaccine should be given to their children. It needs uh, testing, it needs a study, uh, and it needs a lot of people to be around to make quite sure that whatever this lady is advising is appropriate for children. Uh, but as far as the uh, forum is concerned, of course, we know and have known for many, many years that obesity is a huge risk factor when it comes to viral infection. In fact, uh, he, all the way since two, 2010, uh, we have been lobbying for uh, much more attention to be made uh, on obesity uh, in the instance that such a pandemic would arise. The problem is that now the pandemic is then there, we're not very well prepared for it. But I think that uh, in this particular case, uh, tread very lightly uh, and and test it and see w what happens. Mm. As you say, Tam, we know that people who are obese have tended to end up in hospital and frankly die from this very deadly disease over the last 18 months. Has there been any research that you're aware of of um, the impact that it's having particularly on obese kids? Uh, not that I'm aware of, um, but uh, that's not to say that uh, it isn't happening. I am not, and I made it clear to your researchers when I spoke uh, an hour ago, I'm not by any means an expert in this area. But I do firmly believe that uh, we have got to try everything uh, possible to protect uh, both uh, adults and children uh, from uh, acquiring COVID. And when you are obese, you are 50% at risk for acquiring it. So if you will, as a preventative measure, I think it's something that we should look at. Mm. Would you not rather um, that the, the funding and the resource that we put into vaccinating these children be placed into combating obesity in the first place? I'm sorry, can you say that again? I wonder if you'd rather see the resource and finances that will be allocated to this program actually be allocated to preventing and supporting um, obese children in the first place. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's we are not doing anything near the level that we should in trying to combat obesity, particularly children's obesity. Uh, what I'm particularly pleased about at the moment is that we have a, a national nutrition plan, which has been written by uh, Henry Dimbleby and is being studied, hopefully, by uh, number 10. Uh, and we also had the news from the World Health Organization about COVID warning, about um, uh, climate, war uh, uh, climate change and climate warming. And both those factors impinged very much on uh, obesity. And so I think that the government should take uh, uh, both of those documents very seriously and do all it can to prevent children from becoming obese in the first place. That means starting... Uh, particularly with mothers, uh, way, way back in school. We should be educating mothers about how they should be before they consider procreating or having children. Uh, they should get down to size because obesity in the mothers gets on past to the children. And if we can get women going into pregnancy at a reasonable weight, and there are 50% of our women go into pregnancy either obese or overweight, uh, we will be uh, some way down the course. But a huge amount has to be done during pregnancy and in the first two years of life, which are the really crucial years. Mm. And in saying that, Tam, we know that, you know, when you look at the countries that have, in some regards, actually suffered the most 
uh, during this pandemic. They are countries that have a massive obesity problem, uh, not just in adults, in kids too. And that includes Britain. It's a, frankly, it's a, a pretty big problem here. Yes, uh, it, it's, it's huge. It's everywhere in the world. And uh, if you will, um, Alan Johnson, who was uh, uh, Minister for Health way, way back in 2007, equated obesity with climate change and said, if we don't do something about it now, we've got a problem. And the problem is that uh, the Labour government and also the following Conservative and coalition governments did absolutely nothing. Particularly disastrous is that in 2010, during the swine flu epidemic, it was made absolutely clear that if there were to be another epidemic, then obese, uh, obese people should have any vaccine uh, about uh, the, to, to prevent them getting COVID or, or pre preventing them getting a viral infection. Um, children weren't mentioned at that time, but now certainly children are being mentioned, and I think it should be tested. Uh, uh, and you're saying that kind of baby's BMI should be checked, essentially? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that uh, BMI, although it is not a perfect measure, uh, certainly over a period of time uh, shows whether a child is progressing uh, um, and becoming concerningly fat. Uh, we, we have uh, agreement from all the Royal Colleges that, in fact, we should be taking a BMI children from about the age of two. And if we did that uh, once a year, all the way through their childhood, uh, I have absolutely no doubt we would have picked up the early signs of obesity way, way before they ever become a problem. And that was recommended by the chief medical officer in 2002. And again, nothing was done. So we've had repeated warnings and governments have considered it's either not a problem or too much to cope with. And now we're reaping the benefits. Uh, interesting stuff. Sam Fry there from the National Obesity Forum. Thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us. Uh, obviously a big debate about whether kids should be vaccinated in the first place, whether obese kids should be. Uh, many parents will feel pretty uneasy about that. Many parents um, will feel uneasy about vaccinating kids altogether, though I think a recent survey came out suggesting uh, that more or near, nearly nine out of ten uh, did and would be willing to have uh, the kids uh, vaccinated.